So over to uh, Ms. Nidhi. Uh, thank you, Gulshan, ma'am. And uh, good evening, Dr. Shashi Kumar. I would like to inv invite Dr. Shashi Kumar, who is working as a director at CDAC Mumbai. Sir has already worked in the field of e-learning and today Sir is going to talk about virtual labs. What is the concept? What are the different types of resources? How can we develop them? And how can we disseminate the information? All these will be explained by Dr. Shashi Kumar. So welcome, Sir, and over to you. A very good good afternoon to um, all of you. Um, I noticed that most of you are. Uh, first of all, I hope I am audible. Right? Yes, sir. You are. And I think the slides are also visible. Yes. Sir. I no noticed that uh, today we are uh, dealing with the northern and central uh, part of um, India. Um, so um, once again, welcome to this uh, session. So I'm I'm going to basically talk about uh, virtual labs. Okay, so uh, since the considering the nature of state, some thoda Hindi we use kartam, but uh, mera Hindi is not uh, <laughs> so please bear with me. I will do most of it um, with English. Um, so, um, virtual labs, so you know what it is, because during the pandemic, uh, many schools have actually used virtual labs for classes uh, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 12 for physics chemistry to jo um, apka, uh, lab activities karna hai wo virtual lab se hi kar, kar paya tha apko kyunki because of the um, lockdown the schools were closed and now i will talk about it little broadly ki ye virtual labs kya cheez hai and what are the ways of using it and also uh, since this uh, workshop is about content creation i'll uh, talk a little bit about um, if you um, agar mujhe um, virtual labs banana hai to kya kar sakte hai kitna aasan hai kitna mushkil hai kya tools hai so this also we will do a little bit of that as we call, go further okay so as i said uh, virtual, um, all labs uh, is the name for our virtual labs that we are using for schools um, right now uh, 200 virtual labs covering science maths and english for school students are now available on uh, this this portal allabs.edu.in which is where which contains only the virtual labs and you can also go to the diksha portal and uh, also access the virtual labs from there uh, through through either through the content or directly you can go and visit the virtual labs so both these uh, urls are accessible or uh, the these virtual labs are free for you you can use them at your convenience as much as you want. There is no, there is no problem with the um, access there. Right? And um, you know, because virtual labs have become very, uh, very rewarding or very uh, successful in critical times, and also keeping in mind the new education policy, which talks about um, resources like virtual labs and technology. We are now working on building about six hundred more. Chase out more labs in various subjects are going to be coming up on the portal over the next couple of years okay so that will be a very good uh, set of resources for you right now we have uh, labs available on physics chemistry biology mathematics and english and more subjects are getting added as as i speak okay so that uh, yeah so if you go to uh, the uh, virtual lab, uh, that all labs portal, you will see a portal uh, like this. Now the, the homepage has changed a bit. There is an upgrade hua hai ki physics, chemistry, biology, maths, uh, English, ke alawa, science and um, uh, augmented reality, uh, computer, ye tabs bhi uh, add hua hai. I will show you in, during the demo that the, what it looks like new. But essentially, um, this is the landing page. When you go to allapps.edu.in, you will land on this page. You can then go and choose which subject you want to do your labs on, physics, chemistry, or whatever. And when you click on that subject, you will open a whole list of labs under that subject for cl different classes. You choose the class and the subject, uh, the lab that you want, and you can perform the activity. Right? 
So on Diksha, the labs will also be linked to the subject or topic uh, directly. And so you can access through that channel also. Let me put some timer so that... Uh, Okay, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah. So, if, on Diksha portal, if you go to the virtual labs link, this is what it will look like for you. Okay, so there are grades, and then under that, you get a button called uh, Explore on uh, each of the grades. And you click on the button, you will get a menu like the list of languages in Hindi medium, English medium. And you click on the corresponding medium. You have a list of uh, subjects in that grade, mathematics, physics, etc. When you click there, you will actually get a list of uh, labs there. Okay. So I'll tell you more about the labs uh, after the introduction. I'll give you a demonstration. Labs um, I will show you with a couple of labs as a demonstration. Uh, so yeah. So let me um, uh, look at virtual uh, labs in general. Sabko uh, ki labs are very important in education. Why? Because um, they give you a hands-on feel of the lessons learned. So, jo, uh, some uh, topics we uh, 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 you get a feel of what it actually looks like in practice. So, when you teach uh, Hooke's Law, you can actually uh, you know, take a spring, put the different weights, and actually see that the elongation actually follows Hooke's Law. Right? So, it is not just purely theoretical. And similarly, if you look at uh, the focal length of a conve concave mirror or convex mirror, you can actually see how the image actually looks if it is not in the right place. And as the screen moves, the clarity of the image and how one, one it would look like when it is exactly on the focal length. So all of these gets more clarity. You get a feel of what is, what is the subject that you learn. And therefore, you connect the theory to the real life. It is also important because we want to encourage the students the um, uh, experiment as a key paradigm. So when you say, I want to conduct an experiment, what are the things that you do? How do we go about doing it? So you have to form, set up a hypothesis. Then you set up an experiment for that hypothesis. You do some uh, studies and come collect with some observation. And then you say, oh, my hypothesis is confirmed or my hypothesis has been rejected. So this process of conducting an experiment in order to validate or invalidate a hypothesis is, is a key paradigm in science. It is a very important element of uh, science in general. So we want to build that culture also in, as part of uh, activity like this. So labs are critically required for that. Further, in order to um, um, uh, anything that involves the student in performing that activity, is helpful to deepen the understanding. So, tell me, I will forget, show me, I may remember, involve me, I will understand. So, when I am involving, when I'm actually, uh, you know, playing around or uh, being part of the learning act process, I will be able to remember, understand the topic that being communicated. In, in educational technology or in um, uh, education theory, this is called active learning, right? the student is actually uh, performing something. So it may be turning the page, it may be clicking a button, it may be lighting the burner, it may be positioning the lens, it may be um, you know configuring something. So when the student is involved at every step and there is feedback coming in, that will help the student to focus attention better and therefore you will learn the subject better. So better internalization of the content. So this is also a reason for us to look at uh, why um, labs are important. But in the normal educational system, it is very difficult to do uh, provide labs as, uh, as much as we would like to do. For one, the schools are just a classroom, lab, room. So cost constraints are there, space requirements are there. And even if you have a lab, wo chemistry lab use karna hai to aapko magnesium kharidna hai, acid and bases and you know, phenolphthalein and compounds like that has to be bought. 
the lab equipments have to be maintained so there is a running cost so the cost of raw material and the physical infrastructural cost so all of this means that uh, we do not have the luxury of um, you know giving very open access to the physical laboratories for the students and therefore what we do we have you know like um, thursday from 2 to 3 pm is uh, physics lab the whole class uh, walks into the lab, does something, something, and within one hour, and then you walk back to the classroom, right? So uh, usually you are not mentally prepared. You don't know what kind of things are there to be expected in the physical classroom. And therefore, uh, you, you may actually gain much less out of it than otherwise. So we provide a limited access and that too often in the group mode. So all of that is actually uh, kind of hammering the purpose that we just now mentioned about building the culture of experiment and, and being uh, being able to involve within the activity, right? And uh, so these are these are some of the reasons why uh, physical labs do not uh, percolate as much as we would want. There is more. Um, suppose uh, I know when you are actually teaching uh, about pendulum and you show the period of the pendulum and how it varies with the, the blob size or the blob, the, the length of the wire and all that. And somebody says, you know, suppose I take this to moon, what will happen? Will the period change? Will anything change? So with gravity is one of the um, elements in the pen, uh, pendulum's uh, formula. Can I demonstrate what it will look like in moon? You can't because you are on earth and that is, that is all you can do. And similarly, somebody wants to know, uh, let's say a dangerous reaction like um, sodium being put into water or potassium being put into water or some um, you know, acid-base reactions which are very uh, heavily exothermic. Okay, So these are also things that uh, we are constrained. We cannot really de demonstrate or show them in the, in the classroom. And there are also two kinds of tasks which are one, a very uh, time-taking task like a mosquito's life cycle and very fast paced, like a nuclear reaction or the quick, um, uh, you know, chemical reactions. So by the time you kind of blink, the reaction is over. So how do I explain what happens during that reaction? Now that's where we want to look at uh, an alternate picture, which is to look at virtual labs. So virtual labs are basically, basically making uh, things like the physical lab, in the online mode. So I can go to the, my open the computer, go to the internet, and actually perform most of these experiments uh, as if I am actually doing that in the physical lab. So we will talk about virtual labs, which are the simulation labs. There is also another thing called remote labs, which we will not uh, talk about today. So virtual labs are sim uh, simulation labs, and all the labs under um, all labs are of, of uh, that category. Right? And um, this okay so as i said they know since these are online resources like the way you are listening to me or the, the the slides that i have prepared which i can reuse any number of times i can share with any other number of people the labs which are hosted online these all labs are available unconstrained so you can access it any time day and night from any part of the world and the just the minor operational cost is all that is there so it's a trivial cost once it's developed However, building these labs can be very expensive because it's actually a complete software program and it can be very, very costly in terms of resources and uh, this thing to build these labs. So I'll tell you a little more about it as we go along. And um, so one, one of the advantages, you know, in the in context of what I just now said is because these are simulation labs, I can change the simulation time interval. So an, an activity which takes, let's say, one millisecond, I can stretch the time and perform that and show that in, let's say, 10 minutes. So you can actually go over that uh, activity very slowly, see what happens, which uh, you know, uh, um, atoms are reacting with uh, other molecules and stuff like that. So you can stretch the time in the simulation area to be able to see the fast phase reactions. You can compress the time to see the very slow pace reactions in a, within some reasonable time plan. So I can make a mosquito life cycle to work within, let's say, two minutes or five, three minutes. Right. So these are Excuse me, sir. Excuse yeah. me, sir. So sorry to interrupt. Okay. Actually, one of the participant has requested to please explain in Hindi and a bit uh, slow in pace. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so fast. Yes. Yeah. I just saw that. 
ठीक है मैं थोड़ा हिंदी में ज्यादा बोलने का कोशिश करूंगा तो ये जो एक्टिविटी का टाइम स्केल है वो थोड़ा हम कंप्रेस कर सकते हैं या एक्सपैंड कर सकते हैं तो एक एक मिली सेकेंड का जो एक्टिविटी है लाइक न्यूक्लियर एक्टिविटी में उसको पांच मिनट के अंदर भी दिखा सकते हैं तो आपको देखने में समझने में टाइम मिलेगा राइट जैसे जो तीन दिन में जो एक्टिविटी हो रहा है जैसे मॉस्किटो लाइफ साइकिल में वो पांच मिनट में कर सकते हैं कि यू कैन एक्चुअली सी दिस सेंटर एक्टिविटी इन स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम ओके सो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो जैसे पेंडुलम मून में चांद में या जुपिटर में लेके जाए में क्या हो जाएगा आई कैन सेट जी अकॉर्डिंगली दैट इट विल फील आसिफ वो मैं पेंडुलम मून मून के सरफेस में लगा के ऑसलेट करवा दू सो पॉसिबिलिटीज विच ऑस यू नो क्लासरूम में या फिजिकल लैब में बहुत डिफिकल्ट होता है वो हम थोड़ा आसान से ऑनलाइन मोड में कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो इसलिए वर्चुअल लैब बहुत बहुत यूजफुल होता है आपका स्कोप ऑफ यू नो प्रोवाइडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सप्लेनेशन या एंगेजिंग एक्टिविटीज बहुत बहुत बढ़ जाता है तो इसलिए दिस कैन बी वेरी पावरफुल इंस्ट्रक्शनल डिवाइस आपको नॉर्मल क्लासरूम में भी इसका यूज कर सकते हैं कि आप आपका अगर आपको खूब स्लो एक्सप्लेन करना है तो ओलाब्स में जाओ आ जाइए और वो का लाभ खोल दीजिए और दिखाओ कि वेट डालेगा तो कितना ओसलेट होता है कितना लेंथ इंक्रीज होता है वो लेके आपका प्लॉट भी बना सकते हैं वो सब आप क्लास में कर सकते हैं विदाउट ए लाभ सो देर फॉर यू नो कंसेप्ट कैन बी एक्सप्लेन बेटर आपको स्टूडेंट्स को भी समझने में थोड़ा आसान हो जाएगा राइट सो बट ये 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 सब बहुत अच्छा है बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आपको फिजिकल लैब्स का जरूरत नहीं है मैं यही बोल रहा हूं कि आपको एक घंटा फिजिकल लैब मिल रहा है तो उसके बाद उसके ऊपर तीन चार घंटा वर्चुअल लैब्स डाल के उसका इफेक्ट आप इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं तो इसलिए मैं ये स्टेटमेंट है कि वर्चुअल लैब्स भी एम्प्लीफायर्स नॉट रिप्लेसमेंट तो आप जो फिजिकल लैब आपको पास है वो रख दीजिए उसको स्टूडेंट में को एक्सपोजर कर दीजिए क्योंकि अगर केमिस्ट्री लैब में आप आप कभी भी गया है तो वो हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड का स्मेल यू नो जो आता है वो उसका एक्सपीरियंस करते करते बिना आपको केमिस्ट्री लैब का एक्सपीरियंस नहीं मिलेगा हम ऑनलाइन में वो सब नहीं कर सकते हैं यू नो आपका स्मेल या टेम्परेचर या यू नो दो टैक्टाइल फीलिंग्स वो नहीं मिलता है तो इसलिए फिजिकल लैब जितर अवेलेबल है वो यूज कर दीजिए उसके ऊपर ये वर्चुअल लैब यूज कर सकते तो हम आप वर्चुअल लैब यूज करने के लिए हमने ये भी काम किया है कि एक कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इको सिस्टम हमने बनाया है कि आपको जैसे मैंने हुक्स लॉ के बारे में बोला था हुक्स लॉ के एक्सपेरिमेंट करते समय आपको एक टेबल बनाना है ये वेट डाल दिया तो इतना लेंथ इंक्रीज हुआ ये वेट के लिए इतना लेंथ दिया और ये लेके एक प्लॉट बनाना है तो इसके लिए आपको दूसरा कहीं जाके आपको ग्राफ पेपर या टेबल में लिखना पड़ता है ये सब भी हमने ऑनलाइन में बनाया है तो आपको ऑनलाइन में ग्राफ अपलोड कर सकते हैं ऑनलाइन में आपको रीडिंग सेव कर सकते हैं तो पूरा इको सिस्टम बनाया है पेडोगोजिकल आस्पेक्ट एंड अडोप्ट रेलिवेंट यूसेज पैटर्न जैसे आपका एक्सपेरिमेंट आपका लैब मैनुअल में दिया है वही तरफ से हमने वही वर्चुअल लैब्स भी बनाया है तो ये इधर करके आपको रियल लैब में जाएगा तो थोड़ा मैचिंग भी मिलेगा कंफर्टेबली रिच सेट ऑफ अवॉर्डेंसेस एंड गाइडेंस तो अवॉर्डेंसेस मतलब पैरामीटर्स विच यू कैन कंट्रोल तो अगर आप पेंडुलम के बारे में तो देखे तो द लेंथ ऑफ द वायर ऑन विच यू सस्पेंड द ब्लॉब द मेटीरियल ऑफ द ब्लॉब द ग्राविटी मून में या जुपिटर में या अर्थ में so these are some parameters which you control in order to conduct conduct the experiment so you tell the student take a wire of 4 uh, cm then 5 cm and 6 cm measure the period and check whether there is a difference 
टाइम पीरियड ऑसोलेशन टाइम पीरियड ज्यादा होता है या कम हो जाता है वो देख लो और उसका मेजरमेंट कर दो नहीं सो so, ये सब हम ऑनलाइन में ये अफोर्डेंसेस भी तैयार करके रखा है सो देर फोर यू कैन नाउ इंटेग्रेट दिस इन टू द करिकुलम बट आपको आज टीचर्स यू हैव टू टेल द स्टूडेंट्स दी अब जाके ये एक्सपेरिमेंट कर दो ये एक्सपेरिमेंट तो ऐसा ऐसा दिखता है आपको ऐसा ऐसा काम करना है और ये रीडिंग लेना है वो सब आपको ब्रीफ कर सकते हैं वो ब्रीफिंग भी आप वर्चुअल आप क्लास में ओपन करके या आपका लैपटॉप में ओपन करके आप दिखा सकते हैं तो थियोरी द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑक्सिलरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स लाइक प्लॉटिंग मेजरमेंट रिव्यू क्वेश्चन रेफरेंसेस वो सब ये सिमुलेटर के साथ बंडल करके हमने ओलैप्स uh, का सेटअप किया है सो दे अगर फिजिक्स का एक एक्सपेरिमेंट सिस्टम खोलेगा तो आपको ऐसा दिखेगा सो so, जैसे मैंने बोला देर इज अ टॉप फोर थियोरी प्रोसीजर एनिमेशन सिमुलेशन वाइवा रिसोर्सेस वो सब अलग अलग लिंक है आप थियोरी का टाप में क्लिक करें तो आपको आपका टेक्स्ट बुक जैसे क्या फॉर्मूला है व्हाट आर द पैरामीटर्स उसका मीनिंग क्या है वो सब उधर मिलेगा आपको एंड दीज थिंग्स यार यही मैं बोलना क्या अफोर्डेंसेस तो ओम्स लो में आप यू नो ये मेटल का ये मेटल जो दिख रहा है मेटल का मटेरियल चेंज कर सकते हैं सिल्वर चाहिए एल्यूमिनियम चाहिए कॉपर चाहिए द लेंथ ऑफ द वायर उसका लेंथ आप चेंज कर सकते हैं फ्रॉम टेन टू हंड्रेड वायर का डायमीटर चेंज कर सकते हैं दर्म रियोस्टाइट का रेसिस्टेंस चेंज कर सकते हैं एंड देन यू कैन परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट विद डिफरेंट वैल्यूज सो कॉफी कॉम्बिनेशन आप ट्राई कर सकते हैं and then you can see what affects the results what doesn't affect the results so you your understanding of that subject therefore will become much better so olabs is ready to use because uh, you know it is not a simply a simulator humne ye pura ecosystem taiyar karke portal mein dala hai so aap any time just go and use it and you also get consistency in the terminology जैसे हमने बनाया है एनसीआर से क्या करिकुलम देख के बनाया है सीबीएसई टीचर्स ने ये पूरा कंटेंट रिव्यू करके अप्रूव किया है इसलिए उसका क्वालिटी टर्मिनोलॉजी वो सब आपको करिकुलम को के साथ मैच हो, हो जाएगा एंड हमने बहुत सारे इंटरक्टिविटी बनाया है तो स्टूडेंट साथ एंगेज तो उनको हर एक स्टेप में कुछ ना कुछ एक्शन करना पड़ता है वो बर्नर चालू करना है या स्केल लेके लेंथ मेजर करना है वो टेबल में एंटर करना है तो इंटरक्टिविटी काफी बनाया है कि वो एंगेजिंग हो जाए नाउ ओला आप साहब कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं जरा चार तरीके में बताता हूं आ, शायद आपको आ, पता भी होगा कि आप फिजिकल लैब में अगर आपके पास फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी है तो वो लैब में जाने के पहले आप वर्चुअल लैब खोलिए उसको पूरा सेटअप से वॉक थ्रू करके उधर क्या दिखने वाला है ये बच्चे उनको सब दिखा सकते हैं और जो इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लेके क्या करना है क्या रीडिंग लेना है वो रीडिंग कैसे लगेगा वो सब एक फील मिलेगा तो व्हेन दे एक्चुअली गो टू द लैब और उनको वेरी फेमिलियर एनवायरमेंट लगेगा और उनको एक्सपेरिमेंट में अटेंशन फोकस करने के लिए ये मदद बहुत मदद हो जाएगा और फिजिक ये एक घंटे या आधा घंटे फिजिक्स फिजिकल लैब में कम एक्सपेरिमेंट करने के बाद जो वो वापस आता है तब भी वर्चुअल लैब में जाके आप उनको री कर सकते हैं तो उधर एक ही एक या दो स्टेप्स कर सकते दो आइट्रेशन कर सकते हैं तो वापस आके हम तीन चार पांच कितना भी आइट्रेशन करके वो वो कंसेप्ट री कर सकते हैं वो उनका अंडरस्टैंडिंग चेक कर सकते हैं ये सब आप लाभ से वापस आने के बाद घर पे बैठ के कर सकते हैं या क्लासरूम में कर सकते हैं ये भी कर सकते हैं तीसरा आप जो यूजल क्लासेस लेते हैं जो कंसेप्ट से एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए या पढ़ाने के टाइम दैट टाइम यू कैन यूज इट एस इंस्ट्रक्शनल मटेरियल सो जैसे आप यू नो लेंस का फोकल लेंथ करना है तो आपको आई मीन द स्टूडेंट्स हाउ टू गेट ए फील कि ये लेंस कैसे दिखता है 
what does it mean to say a focal length how does that how does the length uh, this thing converge so if they can see it they will understand it much better so you can actually go to the lab open this and show that see this is what the lens looks like and know uh, light um, for um, um, the light falling on it then actually converges to one place and this is what happens so aap ye instructional material ke sath roop mein bhi use kar sakte hain and then you can use it for active learning so um, uh, you can uh, set up a lab environment and ask the student ab kaise kya hone wala hai ab agar me ye weight dalega to kaun sa kitna reading milega wo पिछले का रीडिंग से ज्यादा होगा या कम होगा तो ऐसे आपको इंटरक्टिव क्वेश्चन पूछ के उनका रिफ्लेक्शन या अंडरस्टैंडिंग टेस्ट कर सकते हैं एंड इफ इट इज रॉन्ग यू कैन आस्क देम टू थिंक फाइंड एक्सप्लेनेशन तो ये इस रूप में भी आप ये सब यूज कर सकते हैं okay uh, i think somebody is saying that <laughs> stay with them my english <laughs> maybe but i hindi ka uh, problem hai we can see it to students plans are very useful and this it is okay so when i think i will continue with this mix okay so now i will take you uh, to the olabs uh, website and show you couple of labs quickly because we don't have too much time and then aap uh, experiment kar sakte hain okay so let me i'm going to unshare this and um, share my um, web screen um okay can you see the olab screen now um, so the olabs uh, you can see the screen yes sir okay great सो so, uh, जैसे मैंने बताया अब तो थोड़ा और भी टैब साइड हो गया है साइंस कंप्यूटर ए आर वी आर सोशल साइंस लैंग्वेज ज्यादा लाभ सब शायद तो उसमें नहीं मिलेगा ये हम बना रहे हैं एंड इट विल कीप गेटिंग एडेड टू इट सो लेट मी गो बैक टू लेट मैं एक इंग्लिश लाभ से शुरू करता हूँ समथिंग दैट यू मैन नॉट बी वेरी फेमिलियर सो इंग्लिश लैब में आकर आप, आपको एक्टिव वॉइस टू पासिव वॉइस कन्वर्शन सिखाना है या उनको प्रैक्टिस करना है तो लैब खोलेगा तो इट विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस देर इज थियरी एक्टिव वॉइस क्या है पासिव वॉइस क्या है एग्जाम्पल सो वो सब उधर है प्रोसीजर देन आई विल गो टू द लैब लैब में यू कैन सी इट इज जस्ट आस्किंग फॉर सम आइडेंटिफिकेशन मैटर ओके सो लाभ में आपको मिलेगा कि आपको एक टेंस सेलेक्ट करना है एक्टिव वॉइस से पासिव वॉइस करना है तो कौन सा टेंस में ये सेंटेंस बनाना है तो मैंने सिंपल प्रसेंटेंस वो डिफॉल्ट सेट किया है वही एक बार वही यूज करता हूं देन व्हाट हैपन इज द सिस्टम जेनरेट्स इन सेंटेंस फॉर यू इन सिंपल प्रसेंटेंस वो सेंटेंस है रिचार्ड कैच द वर्ल्ड तो ये सेंटेंस आपको पासिव वॉइस में बनाना है नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ टाइपिंग इन दैट सेंटेंस यू कैन एक्चुअली जस्ट रीअरेंज द वर्ड्स बिकॉज रिचार्ड बॉल ये सब आपको वही सेंटेंस से मिलने वाला है राइट सो यू हैव टू ओनली अरे रीअरेंज द वर्ड्स सो दैट यू गेट इट द पासिव वॉइस लेट्स से आई विल से मेक समथिंग वेरी सिली फर्स्ट द बॉल इज Richard got by or maybe by caught. Okay, so ball is Richard by caught. Okay, I don't know passive voice. मैंने तो कुछ गलत गलती गलत आंसर डाल रहे हैं. मैं submit करता हूँ. तो you get immediate feedback कि object is incorrectly placed. <coughs> Your object here is ball. Okay, and uh, so but in the passive voice, uh, it is uh, it is Richard. Right. So uh, object subject uh, change होता है. and main verb is incorrectly placed because you can see caught is not in the right place so now i'll say okay it should be the ball is uh, caught by richard right so that's what i want so we rearrange kiya now i will say submit and it says your answer is correct 
तो आपको जितना बार ट्राई करना है तो कर सकते हैं अंटिल यू गेट इट रेट एंड इट विल टेल यू कि ये गलत है ये चेंज करना है यू कैन चूज एनी अदर टेंस में परफेक्ट फास्ट टेंस चूज किया है तो उन्होंने चोसन डिफरेंट सेंटेंस नाउ मेरी हार्ड ईट एंड एन आइसक्रीम राइट एंड अगेन यू कैन सी मेरी ईट एंड आइसक्रीम वो सब उधर है एंड यू हैव टू रीअरेंज द वर्ड इन सच ए वे दैट इट इज द करेक्ट पास वॉइस ओके सो आई विल लीव इट टू यू यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट विद इट लेट मी गो एंड डू मे बी समथिंग एल्स so i'll do let's say physics uh, that is so physics uh, lamps you can see that it is more visual because wo ja lamp jaise practical lamp mein jaise dikhta hai wahi tarah se dikhna hai karke we have actually made the look and feel uh, little more realistic but uh, maths and english that is not very critical so uh, that freedom uh, we have used okay so i'm going to use uh, yeah okay the con concave uh, mirror uv method of uh, finding the focal length okay fir you can see your uh, theory procedure simulator viva wo sab wahi structure hai to har ek lab mein aapko yahi structure milega so isliye aapko kuch reference de dekhna hai yaar uska formula kya wo uv ka matlab kya hai you don't have to go and you know search for the net and etc sab wahi lab ke andar milega now i'll go to simulator तो सिमुलेटर में जैसे आप देखते हैं देर इज द लाइट सोर्स विच इज दिस बॉक्स हियर देर इज द मिरर ऑन द राइट साइड एंड द स्क्रीन तो लाइट सोर्स ऑन करेगा सो आई वॉन्ट पुट दाइट ऑन लाइट ऑन सो द लाइट कम्स रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द मिरर एंड फॉल्स ऑन द स्क्रीन सो the the rendering is done so that you get an idea about the focal length but uh, like me you cannot see where it uh, you know reduces and of that right now what happens is i can uh, adjust the length of see i can move this mirror and as as i need and i can also change the screen uh, as as i want so i adjust the mirror and the screen so aage peeche karke i need to get the image correctly formed so i'm going to uh, move the mirror uh, little bit uh, to that side and uh, then let me see where i will uh, yeah so there up you can see if you uh, if your screen is or this you can see a little dot in the middle of the screen means i have got the image of the light source okay now what is the focal length i have to measure the distance right so like what i said you can see a little scale here on the bottom okay but you may not be able to read that scale so on the top the relevant part of the scale is actually highlighted okay so you can see that this yellow mark is at exactly 59 and if you want to know the distance between the screen and uh, the mirror it is 59 mm right uh, 5 5.9 uh, cm right and similarly if you want to know the screen to the mirror you can uh, again move the move the screen accordingly and uh, the uh, this if you move it you can actually see what is the distance from the blue line to the yellow line so measurements are done by the virtual scale ab ab soch rahe honge ki why why i can't use my physical scale and then put it there and measure because this is zoomable you can stretch and expand so you need to have the virtual scale which is provided to you to do the measurement okay so like this you can uh, play with uh, different um, uh, sources moving them around and uh, actually perform the experiment exactly like how you would do it in the physical lab okay so um, again i can think there are some comments let me see show maths lab to okay i will show you one maths lab and then i will uh, close with english okay very good okay so um, yeah i think i can see somebody saying that we are using so i will use to go to maths maths also there are some bunch of labs maths is more like a getting i mean if you say that uh, the perpendicular bisectors of uh, um, uh, you know the sides of a triangle intersect inside the triangle 
hey, that doesn't sound correct. You know, I want to be convinced. I want to try different types of triangles and check whether that is actually true or not. So that is what maths uh, actually allow you to do. Okay, let me uh, take. Uh, okay, this tangents drawn from an external point. Anything. Okay. So again, you can see theory, procedure, animation, simulator. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, twenty. So here there are tangents drawn from an external point. Verify that the length of tangents to a circle drawn from an external point are equal. So if you draw from one point two tangents, they should be of equal length. Okay, that's what you want to do. So, आपको एक playground दे दिया है, and there are instructions on the left side. Select a point on a scale to draw a circle. So, some uh, random circle I can draw. I am going to choose. So, I got a circle of 4.33 centimeter. That's what I chose. And to some random point I need. Let me choose on this side. Okay, so I got a point. And uh, now. I want to draw the two tangents from there. It should come along uh, on both sides of the main line, right? So the tangent is drawn, and uh, now I will draw the two perpendicular lines. Uh, click on center O. What is getting the most? Okay, so I click uh, here. I think something. Click on center O to draw two perpendicular lines. Uh, okay, for some reason it, my mouse is not responding on there. So when you click on that, you it will actually draw the two lines towards. Uh, work. Okay. Anyway, in the interest of time, I'm not uh, experimenting with it. But it is it surely works. I had tried it in the morning. Okay, so uh, you will get the perpendicular lines, and then it will show you the next instruction, which is to make a replica of the upper triangle on the lower triangle and show that it's exactly equal. So you can be convinced, and then you can try a different circle, different point on this side, on the right side, top, bottom, and check that under whatever you do, that observation is true. Okay, so that's uh, that is how. it uh, does this so uh, now let me get back to the presentation uh, because we will run out of time i have to show you how to build a uh, this thing also okay stop share and uh, we'll go back to my open board okay so we done with the uh, the the demo now i will go to so in each lab there are set of affordances right um, uh, every place there are affordances which are very specific to the lab so it's a pendulum ke liye it is it could be the wire length the value of g the material or bulb these are the affordances these are chosen based on the expectation and requirements jaise aap to aapka lab manual mein jo diya hai yeah what is what is expected to be uh, taught or what is the lesson that you want to learn uske mutabik we have actually set the affordances for tense conversion the source and target tenses are uh, given to you and the list of words are provided to minimize typing so errors kam kam ho jata hai tables to record data plotting provision all these are also provided to you in the lab environment okay so um okay so if you virtual labs in comparison to other kinds of content uh, like video yeah um, you know text the, you can see some comparison same so well, virtual labs are usually highly interactive content so har ek step mein students ko kuch na kuch kaam karna padega and that is why the active learning and in that engaging content actually comes from there so this content needs to be positioned in the curriculum by the teacher and telling the student to go and perform relevant set of activities so within the same lab you can have different uh, exercises being given to the different students so at the core the center of uh, virtual lab is the simulator so when you saw the um, the the focal length of the mirror you the system has to actually compute where the image should be formed for the different length so you need a program which will tell me that if i keep my screen here 
and my um, mirror is here and my light source is here should i get an image or should i not get an image right so you cannot do this that through through an animation because then the measurements will not make any sense so we find the name also right so these are the simulation programs which uh, which co contains the mathematical logic or the formula or the equations that is relevant to that domain so these contents are suitable for active learning pedagogy now okay so the the last part i we will come to is uh, suppose agar aapko ek virtual lab banana ka uh, you know you want to build a virtual lab what can we do so as i said virtual lab building is very difficult because it's a software program aapko agar acche taraf se software program banana aata hai to zarur you can make you uh, use it to build uh, these kind of labs but even then lot of things were to be taken into account right so pendulum oscillation obeying the relevant rules of gravity or math lab obeying all applicable math rules so jaise like uh, this one so when i when i actually move the pendulum from one end to the other end i have to compute the g and the centrifugal centripetal forces on the blob and see at what point in time the um, uh, i should stop rising on on a side and what is the velocity that i get at each point in time all these has to be compute, computed based on mathematical equations right so is ab aapka program mein dalna padega similarly agar aap simple maths karna hai aapko addition karna hai 1027 plus 999 you have to show the place for uh, carry and bo and all that also on the screen <coughs> and to be able to check um after i did 97 i put one there and i six there and system should should know that <coughs> sorry that this is correct right so uh, 9 plus 7 is 16 so six here one correct so you should be able to say yes ab tak jo aap kar rahe hain wo sahi hai right so to be able to build the model in that much detail that aapko ye feedback de sakta hai and that is the challenge ki ye sab aapko aapko programming ke through karna padega so with the simulator we need the theory reference material instructions help and feedback and the review questions ye aasan baat hai jo aap book se aapko mil sakte hai a text editor ke text editor ke help se you can actually set up these things for to demonstrate okay okay so building the simulator itself so if i want to build the the core the engine part the simulator i have to decide the affordances what parameters i want to change the material the length the radius whatever whatever wo parameters check kya hai and how much uh, variability i should provide ye aapko pehle decide karna padega identify and design the components each of the components of the pendulum ya stand um, the um, uh, the ammeter the voltmeter what are the different components on the in, on the lab bench and what do they look like how, what, how do they behave when you do perform various activities so a bunsen burner for example you can move the burner on the bench you can click and make it on you can click and make it off so that is the behavior that you want to build on the uh, burner okay and so what are the interfaces that you want to build so these i am activities how to be planned so aapko aapke lab mein jo jo uh, components hai how do they look like okay do they i mean the different uh, angles of views and uh, sometimes you need a 3d view sometimes it may be simply 2d 2d views the behavior <coughs> when we ask you perform various activities on the screen how does this component behave it may get um, it, it may become hot it may melt it may change color it may move it may do well, whatever things right this behavior has to be captured design the sequence of steps required so what are the steps in the lab and design user intervention and feedback at each stage so her stage may what do you want the user to perform and what feedback will the user get sat sat um, you also have to look at what are the hot spots what are the places where students have a lot of confusion so you will need to provide extra guidance at those places and decide user measurements observation support like a scale protractor clock in some of the labs you can actually see we have actually provided a virtual protractor 
So you can drag it, put it on your line and see what is the angle that has been formed. Right. So some of the maths labs requires that. So all of this is why I talked about the difficulty. But if you programming up and you are interested in, you can actually follow this process and try to build a lab. Okay. So with that uh, caveat, I, I will show um, uh, get spend a few minutes and trying to show you what it effort, what it takes to create a lab using a tool like um, you know, GeoGebra or, or Scratch. Okay. Both these are good tools. They are visual tools. Okay. So there, there now when you do a Java programming, C++ programming, of course, edit, you know, program has to be written in the uh, syntax, semicolon, comma, bracket, all that has to be very carefully put. And uh, you have to understand that language quite, quite uh, well. But uh, with uh, these uh, platforms, GeoGebra and Scratch, you can actually see the code, right? You can see the code in a visual way. So syntax problems will be much less. I'll show you what it looks like. And both allow experimenting visually to support tinkering. So you don't actually go with a lot of planning as to, you know, I will do like this, I'll do that. Go just, just try some things out and see how it is slowly, slowly you refine and get it to the way that you want the actual lab to look like. Right? Most of the primitives are predefined. So it restricts what you can do with the, with the set. And that's why the interface is good. But uh, so it is easier for you to work with. Once you are comfortable with these tools, if you are um, interested, you can, of course, go for more, more complicated uh, tools also. OK, so I will basically show you a little bit of uh, how what uh, the working with Scratch looks like. And then I will show you a lab, which I have made OK, so I'll show you a lab. Which, uh, which has been created using Scratch. So you get a feel of what it involves to build a lab like that. Okay. Now, uh, the Scratch philosophy is that, uh, you know, you think of a drama. Uh, I mean, a drama being played on a theater. So you have a theater, right? And, um, uh, and on the theater, on the theater ground, you have, uh, you know, various actors coming in. Uh, they come at various times in various costumes. They do something and maybe talk to somebody, they do perform some activity and then they go away, somebody else comes, some people coming, keep coming and going. So there's a stage and there are a lot of these actors and they keep, uh, the, each actor has a program. Like every actor, when you apply a practice, you will say, I have to enter the stage at this time, in this way, I have to do these dialogues and then I should come out. Right? Like that, Scratch also works exactly like that. So... The actors in, spry, uh, in uh, Scratch is called a Sprite. Okay, it's not the soft drink Sprite. Okay, this is this is for, um, uh, Scratch name of uh, for uh, Sprites. So Sprites are the characters which are alive on the screen, which has some role to play on the screen. So on the side, I have shown you uh, some uh, hypothetical uh, uh, stage, a green background stage. And I have three characters, some happy, some sad faces there. Okay, so they are my sprites there. So other than the sprites, whatever else is required, you put it into the stage. So like, uh, you know, in a drama and theater, you can see there are lots of backdrops. Okay. And you change from the school backdrop to hospital backdrop to house backdrop to, you know, uh, all, all playground backdrop. And it looks like the activity is actually happening in that backdrop. So I can change this backdrop. Okay, and make whatever else that I want on in that backdrop itself. So background image. So there is the background image, which of which we will call stage, and there are sprites. And uh, now uh, in in Scratch, uh, the sprites are basically two-dimensional uh, images. Okay, like the ones I have put on the screen. They um, so you don't want uh, this fellow with a smiley face to be smiley all the time. You know, from beginning to end, always smiling. So you, the teacher asks a question, the smiley face goes to a sad face, right? Or, you know, he meets his friend and the smiley face goes into an excited room. Board. So uh, the, the sprites have changes in their nature, right? So uh, in, in Scratch, we call this costume change. So uh, you can, the face itself, you can have multiple different faces and you can change, switch from one face to the other. Or you can change the dress. You might have a jacket, you will have a sports dress, you might have something. So this can also be part of the costumes. 
so every sprite has one or more costumes and in the program you can switch the costumes as you like i'll show you how it is being done so you have a background stage okay and you have a bunch of actors that you have identified called sprites each sprite has a set of costumes now you have to tell the sprite what it should do it would say that at this point enter the stage do these activities change the costume do 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 and come out so write a program for each sprite can talk and, and then what is provided is that the sprite can talk it can take input the sprite can ask them, uh, the user what is your age for example right? it can move it can perform calculation all these things are provided again i'll show you with the example there okay and they can also talk to each other using messages and all that so this is the a one slide introduction to scratch okay the uh, basic feel of that i will i'm going to take you to the scratch environment and show you what um, this environment actually looks like okay uh, i will i'll come back to the um, your uh, um, put, um, uh, chat comments a little later let me just finish this otherwise we will run out of time okay so this is the chat uh, the scratch environment that i was talking about so you can see on the, um, the extreme left there is a bunch of blocks these are you know kind of groups of primitives which are available i'll come back to that and then there are select commands like move 10 steps turn 15 degrees glide change x and all these things are available there is different kinds of things here okay there is a center stage which is a my playground i'm going to build the my program using this and um, on the right side, on the right top here, where is this little cat here, that is my actual performing stage. So I write my programs here, and then I say, go and perform. You can see the action actually there. Okay. Um, now, uh, so, and below that, there are two pieces, very important. On the extreme uh, right bottom, there is something called a stage. If you remember what I said, you know, the, there is a backdrop or a stage. A lot of backdrops are built into Scratch and you can build your own also. So I'm going to click here and you can see there is a lot of different uh, possible scenarios are given to you. So I'm going to choose, uh, let's say a road. Okay. So that's what I've chosen as a backdrop now. Okay. So you can see some, uh, you know, uh, uh, some road and my little cat is the, so when you open scratch you always get this uh, little cat as a default sprite you don't know how to use it you can disable it and you can put something else so i'm going to remove that fellow and i'm going to create my own sprite okay what is that sprite i want uh, so there are lots of sprites available okay so you can use lots of uh, markers uh, different types of animals people everything is available there so you can choose uh, anything that you want okay so um uh, yeah i'm going to choose um i don't know what should i choose okay let let me choose uh, some shape symbol shape okay a bread shape okay so you can see that little bread has chosen and it has come on the screen on the uh, background now, as I said, basically, I have to write a program to tell the sprite what to do at every point. And that is what this left side box is. But meanwhile, you can actually edit this. Okay, so if I go and... Um, Okay, so when you when you um, choosing a sprite, you can choose what is built in, or you can even create your own sprite. For example, I can create my own uh, sprite. So I'm going to say, um, you know, uh, I can just write whatever I want to write there. So this is my sprite. Okay. So that is that is my uh, sprite, right? So you can you can draw you and. If you have a nice picture that you have drawn and you want to upload that, that's also fine. You can make that as your sprite. Right? So, yeah, so I have now two sprites. Okay, let me get rid of the bread. I think I'll go only with uh, this one. And uh, I'm going to change the size a little bit. Okay, so you can see that my that sprite has now reduced to 
a little too big, okay. Uh, yeah, so this sprite is now hanging there on this place. Now let me go and write, uh, make it do something. So what I will do is I will say that, um, you know, every time I run this program, you should move 10 steps. Okay. Now, one of the conventions that we use in uh, Sprite uh, in uh, Scratch is to anger whatever I do with some standard process. So you can see on the top of this uh, background, a, a green flag and a red uh, button. Okay. So whenever I want to tell, write a program, I'm going to say that, um, yeah. So when this green flag is clicked, Okay, so that every time it will start always at the standard place, right? So when the green flag is clicked, move 10 steps. And uh, then I might say, wait for one second. And um, I won't use a sound because you will not be able to hear it. But let me choose something like, uh, okay. Say hello for uh, two seconds. That's it. That's my program. Okay. Now I just go and click my um, this green button on the top, and you can see it moved a little bit. It said hello, and uh, then went. So my program is over. Now you can build on to it more. You can repeat. You can think. You can change costume. You can create more costumes and all that. You can build a complicated program. So this is the basic philosophy that uh, you choose a stage. You choose one or more uh, sprites, tell the sprite what to do at what time. Okay, so you can have multiple sprites also. So the sprite can come in, he can go away. I can hide him at whenever I want, though there is there are options here. Okay, so I can tell him that, you know, once you are done your job, uh, go away. So I can even do this. Now you can see what happens is, I put a show and hide. Okay, now if I click the button, it moved, said hello, and disappeared. And again, if I click, it will come up, hello, wait, and disappear. And so this is this is how I meant by tinkering. Experiment karo. Just keep trying. Nothing will happen. You put whatever you want. You can watch the behavior and then tune it. Oh, I should move it a little bit more this side. Maybe you can do something more that side and so on. Okay. So that is what uh, you want to do in, uh, you know, that's how you do scratch programming. Now I will show you that uh, program that I have written for you. Okay. And uh, so that is in my stuff. Okay. So this is the program that I've loaded for you. So as I said, what I have done is, um, Yeah, so wha what I have done, I have, this is the, um, uh, the lab I have created for you is to find the focal length of a mirror. Okay, I'm not making it very fancy. So this little black thing that you see here is my depiction of a mirror. But I'm not going to move the mirror. So I made the mirror also as part of my backdrop. Um, uh, Scratch has a backdrop called this blackboard, uh, chalkboard. So I have chosen that blackboard and added this mirror and all that on top of it. Okay, so that is my stage. This purple thing is not part of the backdrop. It is movable, it is independent. Okay, so what, what, is, what I have done is the backdrop itself, you can see, um, see, this is the backdrop. You can see I've modified this with these things. And um, in, I written a little program, which is to kind of initialize. So there again, I said, when the flag is clicked, switch backdrop to chalkboard so that the stage will be loaded and wait, nothing else to be done there. Set the sender, set some F value. So it has, I have to choose some uh, focal value for the length, uh, the lens that I wanted to, um, to study. So every time I click the flag, a new lens is actually set up, which really means I will choose a different focal length. Okay. So it chooses a focal length. Now you can see at this run, the focal length chosen is 94. Currently, uh, my, uh, my okay, I'll, I'll come back to this sprite in a minute. So this is the program that I have for the um, 
the stage. Now let me go to my sprite. Okay, a sprite has a little bit of program, but nothing very complicated. Now what do I want to, to the sprite to do? So the sprite in this case is the screen. Okay, so light is coming from this end, hits the mirror and converges or diverges in on the on the onto the right side. So I if my mirror is kept at some particular place which is equal to the focal length, I should get a clear image. Okay, now I am I don't I don't want to create a lot of complication by building the image and all that. So what I have done is that this sprite um, I have created two costumes. One is this costume that you can see, which is a cross mark, which means no proper image. There is another one which is a tick, you know, green tick mark, which means I got the image. Right? These are the two things. So what the program basically is, is position this sprite somewhere along that line. Okay, if you are within very short distance of the intended focal length, change costume to this uh, tick mark voila. And again, if you are if you are away from it, put the cross voila costume. That's all my program does. Okay, but it is you can you can use it as a lab. Let me let me show you what how the lab works, and then I will come back to actually show you what the code does. So I'm going to click this um, green flag. Okay, so I clicked it. So it gives me a message saying that move me left or right till the cross changes to a tick. And, and on the top, you can see the F value is now 79. Currently, I am at 30 uh, unit from the uh, mirror. So I'm going to move the um, uh, this sprite, uh, um, uh, this purple sprite, right, right arrow. Right arrow, and it says not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Yes. So it detected that I am somewhere. I have given a time ten unit tolerance. So when it when I'm at seventy, it says yeah, you are close enough. So you are right. Now if I continue to move right further, it will again become out of focus. So it will give you a cross again. It will remain a cross all the way unless it comes. Now you can bring it back, and within that range. It will become a um, yeah. so it will become a tick mark again. Right, me, sir. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Um, there are uh, participants who are finding it uh, difficult to understand. So yes. can we do it uh, somehow? They also understand it. Okay. Both the other. I don't. I don't even understand what the comment is. Uh, I tried a lot to understand, but could not understand. Difficult to understand in online mode. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, need a lot of. Yeah, you will need to practice because I have very little time. So I don't know how much more I can do. So up, up uh, try it. Scratch is a free platform. Okay. Scratch.mit.edu. Um, up the screen to open the exact time. You can go there, lots of tutorials, both sare animations, both sare students have made. You can check it and you can go inside the, you know, what people have shared and see what it looks like, like this code. Ek baat sunne mein pura samanya muskil hai, mujhe samajhta hoon, but then aapko ek dora idea milega to aap try kar sakta hai scratch ka bahut sare online material hai tutorial hai demonstrations hai to shayad aap thoda try kare to you will get a feel aur dusra hai ki you get a uh, some feel of ha aisa lab banana to aisa ban sakta hai so that is that is all i can expect from here to uh, expectation aisa nahi hai ki aap pura scratch bahut achhi tarah se pad you know uh, understand it and then you, you can write program in scratch nahi uske liye thoda koshish karna padega aapko okay but uh, once you understand that ha uh, scratch matlab ye hai ye aisa kaam karta hai so shayad aapko uh, you know you will be able to relate to it um good lord come one of the participant has requested if uh, it is possible to show one more example I will do. You know, uh, time, time. Deke, I can do. I can spend some more time. Um, ha, ye, uh, can we get the code? Ye code bhi aapko online mein milega. 
ओके आपको स्क्रैच में जाएगा तो यू कैन सर्च फॉर दिस एंड यू कैन एक्चुअली गेट दिस कोड I I am also accessing it from other computer using my account, but you can search it online, and I have shared it public. Okay, I saw that some ten, fifteen people up to to access be kiya hai. So, you can get this code too. Mil sakte hai, and I will show you on the home page. Both are a code. You can see. Okay, I will do it. Ah, the programming nothing with virtual labs. जावेद हसन जी फ्रॉम वर्चुअल लैब्स मतलब प्रोग्रामिंग ही है प्रोग्रामिंग के के थ्रू हम एक एक प्रोग्राम बना रहे हैं दैट प्रोग्राम आप स्टूडेंट्स के लिए वर्चुअल लैब्स होता है जैसे आपको हुक्स लॉ करना है या मैंने वो लेंस का फोकल लेंथ दिखाया था आपको उसमें भी वो भी ऐसा ही एक प्रोग्राम है जैसे मैंने बनाया वैसा ही एक प्रोग्राम है वो भी But that program when you execute, like this one, when a student is executing it, he clicks a button, he will move left and right and get the alignment and said, yeah, I got the focal line. उसको ये समझना नहीं जरूरत नहीं है कि जरूरी नहीं है कि ये scratch है उसमें ये ऐसा program करता है इसमें sprite है ये सब उनके नहीं है उनके लिए नहीं है ये detail आपके लिए है कि आप समझ सकते हैं कि एक program के पीछे क्या है but for a student he just runs it and he will only see this interface <clears throat> i'll show you that also that on the direct interface me up uh, how, how what it looks like okay so yeah i mean i'm sorry that uh, you're not finding it a little uh, difficult to connect but i do hope that up koshish kijiye that Yeah, I tried. <laughs> so, um, please adjust, and I hope you know the recording will be available. Uh, ठीक है मैं ये थोड़ा पूरा करता हूँ and then uh, whatever time is there, I will try to uh, explain more more things for you. ओके okay, सो so, मैंने जो प्रोग्राम बनाया है वो भी वो सिर्फ इतना ही है अब ये प्रोग्राम विंडो में देखिए फर्स्ट पीस इज व्हेन फ्लैग इज क्लिक वो आप मैंने दिखाया ना हूँ इधर एक बटन है या सो ये बटन है व्हेन फ्लैग इज क्लिक आई जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप व्हिच मींस दिस पार्ट ऑफ द कोड विल बी एक्सिक्यूटेड ओनली वेन आई क्लिक द ग्रीन फ्लैग देन थोड़ा साइज यू नो एडजस्टमेंट सो साइज थर्टी परसेंट एंड आई वॉन्ट स्टार्टिंग गिव अ मैसेज सेइंग दैट मूव लेफ्ट और राइट सो मैं मैं आई एम जस्ट रीडिंग फ्रॉम द प्रोग्राम आपको ऐसा ही प्रोग्राम बनाना है देन दिस पार्ट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवर ओके आपको हम देख सकते हैं वो ये येलो कलर में फॉर एवर करके देर इज अ बिग ब्लॉक विच मीन्स फॉर एवर जस्ट कीप डूइंग द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स व्हाट शुड इट डू वेट फॉर अ की टू बी प्रेस्ड इफ यू प्रेस लेफ्ट एरो आप वो स्प्राइट को पांच यूनिट लेफ्ट का तरह करो इफ यू प्रेस राइट एरो मूव इट टू द राइट फाइव फाइव यूनिट्स चेक वेदर यू आर इन द फोकल लेंथ एरिया अगर फोकल लेंथ एरिया में है तो कॉस्ट्यूम राइट वाला कॉस्ट्यूम चूज करो अगर नहीं है तो रॉन्ग में ही रहो इट प्रोग्राम उतना ही है सो बिकॉज ऑफ स्क्रैच इट इज वेरी सिंपल टू राइट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोग्राम नॉट टू मच ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड वेरिएबल्स एंड यू कैन नेचुरली डू नाउ लेट मी गेट आउट ऑफ दिस एंड आई शो यू वॉट दिस वुड लुक लाइक वेन यू कम फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ओके सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग इन टू दिस सो uh this so when you go to scratch site you can see this kind of thing so i go on to just go and click uh, lens focus see this is what it will open up now i can click uh, the button and you see just that behavior all the scratch details all that is gone now i just move the uh, this thing and see it works so this is my virtual lab okay so ab jaise ab bol rahe the ki it is a program there is no now it is a lab it is a lab you can tell your student to perform no need to do look at programming and all that 
प्रोग्रामिंग सिर्फ आपके लिए है कि जैसे आप अगर आपको ऐसा प्रोग्राम ऐसा लाभ आपको बनाना है तो दिस इज द वे टू अप्रोच दिस आइडिया बट गिवन द टाइम विदाउट गिविंग यू ऑल द बैकग्राउंड में उनका स्क्रैच कर डिटेल्स यू नो बताना मुश्किल है तो इसलिए आई गिवन यू लॉट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड एंड देन आई गिवन यू ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्क्रैच एंड थ्रो यू वन लाभ कि कैसे मैंने बनाया है एंड हाउ इट रन ओके तो इतना लेके आप थोड़ा ट्राई कीजिए मे बी दर आर मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी दर आदर्स फॉर कंडक्टिंग स्क्रैच ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम वो यूज करके आपको थोड़ा स्लोली स्लोली बनाना है वर्चुअल लाब बनाना मुश्किल है इसके लिए काफी टाइम और एफर्ट चाहिए काफी दिमाग भी लगाना है कि अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है तो ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गो बैक टू माय प्रेजेंटेशन एंड देन वंस आई एम फिनिश विद दैट वी कैन सी इफ देयर इज एनीथिंग एल्स दैट वी वांट टू डिस्कस ओके सो या सो दैट इज स्क्रैच आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू अ फील ऑफ इट इन द स्क्रैच एनवायरमेंट and um so this is a, a screenshot of the scratch environment so as i said this is your actual display area this is where you will see whatever you are creating how it works and all that this is the stage selection area this is the sprite selection and man manipulation area this is the program uh, repository out of which you build your own program okay so that's that is basically what scratch environment is Okay, so already given you the demo also. Now going further, we are looking at more more complex, richer uh, labs. Banana, uh, that in it may evaluation of labs. If labs banana, you have to take a lab exam. So, can can we support it online? We are also seeing that proper and timely guidance. So, students, if the next lab will go, then also. Okay, हम उनको सपोर्ट मिलेगा कि क्या करना है कैसे करना है कोलाबोरेशन सपोर्ट सो एक स्टूडेंट या जो हरियाणा में वो दूसरा स्टूडेंट या उत्तर प्रदेश या गुजरात में वो दोनों ऑनलाइन में कोलाबरेट करके लाभ एक्टिविटी पूरा कर सकते हैं तो मोर इंट्रैक्शन मोर अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर अस टू ब्रिंग दू नो एवरीबडी टूगेदर immersive experience so students get a feel better feel of the lab sirf keyboard aur mouse ke alawa hum aur kya use kar sakte hain speech se kar sakte hain gestures se kar sakte hain wo bhi uh, input some you, uh, we are trying to bring it in gamification so zyada uh, lab kam time pe achhi tarah karega to points milega to you know students can compare and as i said you know non science subjects language social science इनका भी हम लाभ बना रहे हैं एंड विल कम ऑन द पोर्टल इन दस टू कम सो सो गाइडेंस यू नो फिजिकल टीचर इज नॉट ऑलवेज अवेलेबल सो वी वॉन्ट लुकिंग एट गाइडेड लैब या पियर लैब तो ऑल ऑफ दिस वी आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग ऑन इन द न्यू सेट ऑफ लैब्स we are trying to look at uh, gesture so if you want to turn a knob um, i say if you just show like this that the, the burner will come on you don't have to use the mouse and go and click the burner so thoda um, our acha interface bana um, uh, bana rahe speech hai you can verb um, uh, vocal commands bhi de sakte hain haptic devices so these are all things that we are trying to uh, add on to it gamification जैसे 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 जो बैडजेस पॉइंट्स ये सब भी ऑनलाइन लाभ में मिले हम तैयार कर रहे हैं कि स्टूडेंट्स को थोड़ा और एक्साइटमेंट और एंगेजमेंट मिल सकता है ओके सो नाउ आई एम जैसे मैंने पहले बोला बिल्डिंग ए लाभ रिक्वायर्स स्पेशलाइज्ड स्किल अगर आपको मन है आपको ट्राई करना है जरूर कीजिए जो स्क्रैच जैसे टूल से आपको अच्छी तरह शुरुआत मिलेगा एंड देन आस यू गेट मोर कॉन्फिडेंट यू कैन ट्राई मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स टूल्स एंड अगर प्रोग्रामिंग आपको थोड़ा मतलब मुश्किल लगता है देन यू कैन हेल्प इन लॉट ऑफ अदर वेज ओके तो वन शेयर आइडिया वेयर लाभ एक्टिविटी वुड बी अप्रोप्रिएट सो हमने बहुत सारे लाभ बना रहे बट आपको पता है कि किधर ऐसा एक्टिविटीज मोर यूजफुल होगा तो हमें बता दीजिए कि 
अगर ऐसा एक लाभ है तो अच्छा है जैसे ज्योग्राफी हिस्ट्री तो स्टेट्स ऑफ इंडिया सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया एनवायरनमेंट यू नो रिवर्स माउंटेन्स वो सब यू नो विद दिस लैब्स वी कैन प्रोवाइड मोर मोर लाइफ फील फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स शेयर एरियाज ऑफ डिफिकल्टी कॉमनली फेल्ड बाय स्टूडेंट्स इन देयर लैब कॉमन मिसकंसेप्शंस एंड आल्सो रिव्यू द लैब्स दैट वी आर पुटिंग अप गिव अस फीडबैक ये अच्छा है या ये इधर मॉडिफिकेशन करना है दिस इज नॉट प्रॉपर्ली करेक्टर कर दैट वो सब भी आपका फीडबैक है तो बहुत बहुत अच्छा होगा and uh, even language sometimes you know uh, the uh, multiple languages jo jaise aap log jo jo states mein hai udhar bhi alag alag languages hai gujarati punjabi wo sab hai to ye sab language mein lab taiyar karna mushkil hai to hum thoda kuch kar rahe hain but with your help we can make these labs in those languages also available to all of you so that that is our objective so अगर आप देखे और फीडबैक करें या लैंग्वेज इंप्रूव करने का हेल्प करें तो हमें ये काम काम और थोड़ा आसान होगा ओके सो दैट इज व्हाट व्हाट आई वांटेड टू कवर इन द प्रेजेंटेशन नाउ आई थिंक वी कैन मेक इट लिटिल इंटरेक्टिव एंड इफ देर आर पीपल हु वांट आस्क क्वेश्चंस आई विल ट्राई टू डू लेट मी लुक एट द चैट ऑल्सो आई वंडर वेदर दिस एक्सेसिबल विथ स्क्रीन रीडर नो एक्चुअली भरत मली जी दैट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हमारे लिए भी एक कंसर्न है कि फॉर द विजुअली चैलेंज आर मोर अदरवाइज यू नो स्टूडेंट्स विद डिफरेंटली एबल स्टूडेंट्स उसके लिए ये कैसे कर सकते हैं तो हम सोच रहे हैं आई मीन विद सम स्टूडेंट्स वी आर एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग कि क्या कर सकते हैं बिकॉज टू परफॉर्म अ लैब एक्टिविटी आपको ये स्केल या उसका डिस्टेंस वो सब देखना जरूरी पड़ता है और उसको समझना भी जरूरी है बट वी आर नॉट गिव अप हम कोशिश करेंगे अगर आपको आपको कुछ अच्छा आइडिया है तो बता दीजिए हम जरूर वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन मेकिंग दिस वर्क फॉर दम ऑल्सो कैन यू प्लीज अरेंज एन ऑफलाइन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम फॉर इफेक्टिव लर्निंग दैट आई थिंक सीआईटी कैन टेक इट अप सोल्ट एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं आई थिंक वी हैव सम क्वान्टिटेटिव एनालिसिस प्रोग्राम जावेद हसन जी के आप क्वेश्चन है कि विच सॉफ्टवेयर इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग वर्चुअल लैब बहुत सारे डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सॉफ्टवेयर है ठीक है अगर आपको एक अच्छा विजुअल फील लाइक फिजिक्स लैब में मीटर वोल्ट मीटर देन लॉट ऑफ व्हाट शुड आई से मूवी मेकिंग काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर वुड बी गुड फॉर अ फ्रेंड एंड यू नो नाइस इमेज एडिटिंग एंड ऑल दैट बट फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इंग्लिश सोशल साइंस एक्सेट्रा उसका तो उतना जरूरत नहीं है so you can write it in uh, java python c++ uh, or any language can be used as the base but age uh, the front end has to be built so we have used the geogebra we have used the um, uh, you know uh, react based this thing proper programming environment so a variety of tools we have used for different labs in even for sub depending on subjects also can we show special bodies and weight there uh salt analysis i think currently it is not there so i will need to check it out but ab ab thoda search kijiye nahi to bata dijiye mabu gani i think in the coming set of labs may salt uh, anal uh, quantitative analysis hai right now it is there on no labs i am not very sure mujhe check karna padega i also like coding but coding should be like coding i just think i don't know what is the problem because you can have visual coding which is not very complicated like professional coding but you know for others can also do so that is why i have chosen scratch if you want me to do java coding me dikha sakta hu but then baki kisi ko bhi samajhne mein aaye nahi aayega okay so other than that it is this is also coding not to worry about it the ones who are well versed with coding can do it not for everyone ab absolutely kiran jyot ji wohi wohi bol raha hu main uh, building virtual labs is not for everyone वो थोड़ा एटलीस्ट कोडिंग का थोड़ा इंटरेस्ट होना होना ही चाहिए स्क्रैच एंड्रॉइड में मेरे ख्याल से नहीं है ओके देन लाइक कोडिंग ओके आई नो आई नो दर ऑफ लॉट ऑफ सैड फेसेस बट डोंट डोंट फील टू सैड बिकॉज ऑब्जेक्टिव ये नहीं है कि आप सब यू नो कल से वर्चुअल लाभ बनाएंगे हम से ही कि आपको इसके बारे में थोड़ा ब्रॉड अंडरस्टैंडिंग है यहाँ बहुत कॉम्प्लेक्स है बट ऐसा करना है तो ऐसा करना पड़ेगा ओके 
so don't don't feel too bad and i, I don't want you to go with a you know bad feeling okay so we can already use the one if you have support from programmers correct all the labs you will get all the labs that you will ever need will be available to you so aapko labs banane ka zarurat nahi padega agar aapko thoda experiment karna hai to ye ye idea use kar sakte hain main kisi website ko i think website se nahi hoga but um, anyway i think now a lot of uh, specific questions so i'm going to stop here uh, actually i'm visually impaired sir oh, okay okay i think i think yes we will work for you we will make something available but thoda research level pe kaam karna padega ki nobody has an idea how to make labs accessible to visually challenged so i mean i am committed i want to do something but uh, give me time I, we will get there uh which platform thank you which software uh, any virtual lab virtual lab aapko milega but this kind of com uh, comprehensive structure aapko kahi nahi milega all of this hai okay so that is why i don't suggest anything else at this point but uh, many people have you know the simulators may be available but aapko ye uh, karna padega सोशल साइंसेस अभी तक शायद तैयार नहीं है बट इट इज इट इज कमिंग ओके आई थिंक सम लैब्स हैव बीन कंप्लीटेड सो कीप कीप वाचिंग द पोर्टल अब पूरा लैब सेट आप आपको मिल जाएगा मिल जाएगा ओके निधि आई थिंक आई विल लीव इट एट दैट या सो माय अपोलॉजीज दैट इफ यू डिडंट एक्चुअली यू नो गेट यू व्हाट यू व्हाट यू फेल्ट लाइक बट आई थिंक दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग मे बी दिस या थैंक यू thank you so much sir uh, and i would like to say something regarding uh, creation of simulation using scratch so i also attended uh, scratch for the very first time and i got to know about scratch from sir's um, presentation only and uh, it's all about uh, when you practice then only you get to know how to create simulation just by looking at it definitely will not make you perfect in that so any software if you want to learn you have to you must have patience to learn first of all and then you must practice without practicing you cannot use zoom also initially people were confused about using zoom which you are right now using so everything in the beginning is difficult it becomes easy when you practice and uh, i would like to thank uh, dr shashi kumar sir for patiently listening for patiently explaining everything and uh, and i hope that when all the participants will actually try they will be able to create simulation according to the way they think of uh, presenting the idea so we already have uh, so many simulations developed but if uh, anyone is um, um, very much interested in creating the simulation on their own in presenting their idea the way they wish to we are making them learn this um, application only if they really want to create and uh, present their idea in their own way that was a major purpose of this session so i hope uh, all the participants will understand the purpose and will definitely try to use o labs and will try to create simulation using scratch or if they find any other application helpful easy or more interesting they can go for that but they will definitely try to create simulation so as to make a teaching learning process better and will definitely help their students to learn in a better way so thank you so much dr shashi kumar for guiding all of us patiently